So you've been thinking about buying Tarkov, huh? Probably seen your favorite streamers play the game or some clips on YouTube about it. Well, I'm here to give you my irrelevant ass opinion on how you should spend your money. So first off, you should know that there's four versions of the game that you can buy to start out with. One being the standard edition, it just gives you the basic stuff. Then there's Left Behind, Prepare for Escape, and would all the shitters who think they're good at the game buy Edge of Darkness. Personally, I'm a shitter, so I bought that one. When you buy the game, you go through, pick out a name for your character, either one being a Yusek or a bear. The difference between the two is that one's American and one's Russian. Pick your poison. Yes, they only speak their designated language, so if you want to swear at someone in Russian, pick the bear. Suga! After that, the game says, fuck you, figure out the rest for yourself. You are given the option to play as a scab. Um, Suga, Chris, are you Why are you bullying me? Or a PMC. God, you can't hear anything but him, his fat ass breathing into the mic. PMC is your main character, and a scab is pretty much free loot every 15 minutes. The truth about Tarkov is if you seriously think you're about to hop into a game and absolutely wipe the floor with kids, you're not. Unless you're this guy and take three times the recommended dosage of Adderall every few hours just so you can hear people breathe down a hall, you're fucked. You just got clapped by a dude with a fucking rice cooker on his head. Rice cooker. Yo, nice four, man! Let's go! Rice cooker gaming, let's go! Your first raid is most likely gonna consist of you hiding in a corner, listening for noise, getting confused when all you hear is the Russian language. Suka! What you forgot on our Suka! And with every gunshot, you're gonna shit your pants. This Taz with two rounds, Sturman's about to get the win. You don't know the extent Who of the shot. fuck. Just wait until your first grenade blows up. You can either be one of two things the Chad or the measly little rat. I heard another one, another fucking shitter one. Yeah! Yeah! You stupid bitch, you're gonna fucking camp? I don't care, bro. You killed me. Fuck you. Fuck you. The chads in this game will rush you like their life is worth the equivalent of a napkin from McDonald's. Don't walk in front of me, Cam. Don't walk in front of me, Cam. The rats are the 10 year old kids from COD who just camped in the corner all game and wondered why their KD stayed at a 0.5. I hate to say it, but I'd say about 75% of the Tarkov population is a rat. Majority of them will probably say they're chads. They're definitely lying to you. If you thought that good gear was going to save you when you start off, don't worry. The game's going to shove a 2x4 so far up your ass you're not going to be able to walk for a week. Anytime you're going to want specific items, you're going to have to buy them off the flea market, which only unlocks when you hit level 10. Which doesn't take long for experienced players to get to, but if you're just starting out, good luck. That being said, the game decides to shaft you even more. When just starting out, the traders you can buy from sell you AKs the equivalent of a nerf gun. And with that being said, you also pray your luck in video games because this game requires the entire fucking rainbow and if you think headshots are an instant kill, you're wrong. Sometimes people are just so fucking lucky. That was his buddy? Oh, I see him. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I see him. Are you fucking kidding me? Have I mentioned the AI in the game? These fucking AI will tear you a new one. What are you doing, step bro? I'm gonna die here. I'm dead. Oh the main game developer Nikita, the beautiful Russian beast that he is, wanted the AI to be as annoying as humanly possible and make your raid a little bit harder. Well, he said fuck that and turn these fuckers into the scariest thing alive. Normal scav AIs will either one tap you in the face with their shotguns or have the nastiest aim that would make Shroud look like he's garbage. Also, keep in mind, those are just normal AIs. The bosses, on the other hand, are built so fucking differently, I wouldn't be surprised if they had been crafted by Odin himself. I get that it's a boss, but these guys will make you break your keyboard faster than FaZe Jev breaking his controller. 
These shitters will aim lock you faster than you can say quidditch. Here's a meme I made about killing Killa, the boss. There's a scab by me. I know. Scab up there. Nice. Kill him! I got him. Killed him? Yeah, I got him. I may have seen calm in the clip, but I was ready to let out a shit the size of a 1.5 megaton bomb. If you get the game, I'll let you figure out what raiders are. Tarkov is a great game to enjoy with friends. Nah, I'm fucking with you. Playing this game with more than three people at a time can turn from a calm day into the fucking jungles of Vietnam. You and your boys will get shot at and everyone thinks they know where the enemy's at when they honestly don't. You all find cover and either you A, say where you're going but no one hear you because people don't shut the fuck up. This is what it sounds like. And you get killed or B, no one says anything and it just becomes who can kill their teammates faster. Oh, dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I, a I shot you. Where? Tunnel. Can't see him. Oh. Dead? Did you just kill me? No way. Alright, boys, if I die, make sure to dump my shit, yeah? Well, okay. don't die in a bad spot. <laughs> I'll push with you, Otis. One was in the burger off to the left, and then one was literally just straight down. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, he's there, he's there, I'm dead. Dude, what? I was already around the corner. He literally armed me. Thank you. Oh, did you? You guys said you were at T-Rend. Oh, I said I was pushing Oh. Him. Fuck, no, that, that was totally on me. Then you have a rat teammate that have balls the size of M&Ms and will only move when the chat of the team decides to move. But when said Chad dies, leading the charge, that raid that would have lasted 20 minutes if you all pushed and died or not had tiny balls, it turns into the whole 40 minutes of a raid where the rat sits in a corner and waits for the guy to loot the Chad for an easy kill. Where are you going? You're lost like your dad. You plug your PC into a TV. Zero earn. PR check. Oh wait, you have none. Where's your awareness? Is that your dad playing? Oh wait, you don't have a dad. You're a dog water. You play on a lamp. Pizza Hut headset. Lily free. So free. Freer than walking surfish. Call you sushi. Box like Nate Robinson. Next stop, the lobby. Tarkov in general is honestly a great game. The gaming community hasn't seen anything like this for a long time. The game may have a lot of flaws for it being in beta, but I'm sure they can turn it into something bigger than it already is. My final words to leave you with is be ready to grind this game like nothing you've ever grinded before. Don't take this game too seriously and just buy the standard version. If you enjoy the game, you can always upgrade it. In all seriousness though, don't expect to hop on this game and have fun. It definitely is a huge learning curve. With that being said, I'm gonna have to give the game a 6 out of 10. But that honestly doesn't matter because my opinion is irrelevant as fuck.